so we've done so far all of this we've checked all of that now let's see if the user should be able to uh, input a donation amount let's go to the form we have the donation amount here and the field for it here let's check them in form view donation amount so actually we can so here we can enter a donation amount now we want to code the update donor record button this button here that we've added and the first thing that it asks us to do is when we click it to show somewhere on the form an update total donation it will summarize the donation so far with the new donation and it will display it on the form once we click it we want this to be displayed on the form or in a message box we will do both as best as possible let's get on with this task then so basically let's go to the design view of this it asks us to add this that I'm going to format in a way that we can see it so let's format that as well and display it somewhere on the form in a new text box in other words so let's grab a text box that's a label that's a text box we wanted to say an update total donations so let's copy this this is a good name put it in the label of the text box control V move it a bit considering what we're doing that we want the highlighted bits to be added and displayed here let's uh, put this as orange so that we know this is the result yeah we wanted to display it in the updated total donations here in the text box so when we are in form view it should show here we could have simply without using the button let's go back to design view say equals let's say this let's do the equals later so equals that plus that so that is the name of this is donation amount let's copy that so I'm doing something that is not required just to show you the final result so we want the donation amount plus this which is called text 18 so copy the name of this is text 18 yeah if we put an equals in front that should work uh, you can see that there are fields so access already put square buttons around them let's go to form view if we enter let's say id 39 it totals his donations so far if we add for instance 110 we put another 10 it should go to 120 and there it is it's showing here because in design view we added a control source yeah we added some code in there that displays the summary of this plus this we want this to happen though when we click this button and these names text 18 is not very useful so that's the name of this let's use donations total so far let's copy that and put it in the name of this so we instead of text 18 we can use its name let's put it in there continuing the little experiment so we rename that now as you can see here to donation so far and we've added it here and let's go back to form view and it shows 130 10 plus 120 130 but the idea is as I say that we this has to happen when we click this button the button has to be coded with a calculation and the results showing in here that 130 for instance yeah so let's go back and see how we do that let's leave this code in here for the time being we need to name this instead of label 18 to be more useful let's name it with the labels name so click on the text box and instead of text 27 you can say basically that but without spaces be careful yeah so we have to add capitals because that's the system we're basically using here you can see that access uses underscores you see underscores in many many places remember that it is one thing to add code inside so for instance that becomes the control source and it binds the text box to whatever we type in there for instance this one is just a field bound to 
uh, the donor surname of the donor table. This is not bound to any field or table, it's just a field that does this here, summarizes the total donation. So, so far so good. They all have names. This one has a name, donation amount. This one has a name, donations total so far. And this one has a name, updated total donations. They all have names that we can use in our code. So, we're going to be deleting the source code that we added here in a bit, but because we've done it, we'll use it in our coding. So what we need to do is, we want this, let's copy that, in the code builder of this button, and we can't just leave it with equals, we have to say that plus that equals Let's get the name, update the total donations, this one, paste, yeah? We need to reverse this, so we need to put this in the front, copy, paste it, and say equals to these two added together. If we don't do that, it takes away the plus sign. So basically we put the plus sign and now it keeps it. So the updated total records, which is this field, this field here, is equal to that, which is the donations total so far, and that, which is the donations amount. Square brackets are not needed, as I said, but we can use them and then we just to see the result and then we deduct them. Now, we have for this field here two codes operating one from the button and one from the control source itself. So we have to get rid of one. We want this one to work, yeah? So basically, let's delete this. This is unbound for the time being. It does have a name though. And the result of the calculation happening inside the code of this button here will appear there. Let's go to form view. We've got 10 plus 120. When we click this, we get the result. Let's go back to design view. We've just verified that our code works. Let's take away the square brackets because fields in the front of access on forms, queries, tables, etc. When you code them, you need these square brackets to differentiate them from the tables. But here it picks up the names, so it's not necessary. Visual Basic is much more user friendly when it comes to that. Let's see if it works. So let's close this. Go back to form view, close it, open it again. We make sure that it saves it. We go to this guy here, add 10, for instance, to 120. Click somewhere else. Nothing has happened in here, but when we click the button, 130. We might as well need to, as it shows here, pounds. We might need to format these into currencies. Let's do this quickly. So we can go there and say format, let's say currency, this one as well to currency. It's the pound sign, so it's fine. Decimal places, it says automatic, etc. We can go and say zero decimal places or whatever decimal places, it doesn't really matter, yeah? So, so far it looks like this. So see the pound signs appear there. When we click that, the pound sign appears. It adds them nicely 